Hey there, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna be talking linear mortgages, and I'll be sharing with you my linear mortgage payment schedule tool. Now, a linear mortgage is a mortgage where the principal payment due in each period stays the same, stays static, it's straight line. And that differs from the type of mortgage you're most likely familiar with, and the annuity mortgage, where the mortgage payment stays the same and the principal due each period fluctuates depending on the amount of interest due in each period. And now the, the result is, and what you're seeing here is on the left-hand side of the screen, here is my linear mortgage payment schedule tool. On the right hand, one of our advanced mortgage amortization uh, schedules. And this one on the right, this is an annuity. This is a typical mortgage. And if I widen this out, what you'll see is here at the right, in blue, we have the loan balance. And so with a kind of typical annuity mortgage, the loan balance decreases in a logarithmic fashion, right? So there's less in principal that is paid out in each period because there's a larger share of your payment that goes towards interest. This line along the top here is, is the loan payment due in each period. And the result is that you get slower speed at which the loan pays down early off and then it accelerates near the end. Now we're, I'm using here a 3% rate. If I were to increase that rate, say to... I don't know, 6%, you're gonna see the effect now more pronounced, right? Uh, slower reduction in principle early on that accelerates over time. And throughout the, the loan term, the payment due stays the same. That's prob probably what you're familiar with. Now, with a linear mortgage, the loan payment itself actually decreases over time but the principal due stays the same. And the result is, and you see in blue, the loan balance, in a linear fashion, the loan balance pays down. So if for instance, uh, you intend to pay off 50% of the principal in each period, and each period is a year, the loan would be paid off in two years. Either way, it's linear, right? At the end of year one, 50% is paid off. End of year two, the entire amount's paid off. Now what you're seeing here, this is a 360 period or 30 year a linear mortgage and in a linear fashion, in a straight line fashion, the loan balance decreases, but over time, the payment due decreases. Now, what's interesting when I compare these two mortgages, let's say we have a million dollar initial loan amount with a 3% fixed rate and both pay off over a 30 year period. What you'll see is your starting payment for the linear payment, for the linear mortgage is $5,361. Contrast that with, here's now the annuity. Let's come back again to a 3% rate. The payment due in each period stays at 4,216 over 360 months. And as a result, you pay 517,775 in interest over those 360 months. In contrast, again, remember 4216 is your flat mortgage payment. Uh, with the linear mortgage, you'll see here's the mortgage payment in column E. And over time that decreases as, but then your, but your principal stays the same. The reason why the payment decreases is the amount of interest due decreases as the interest is charged on the balance. And your balance decreases in a linear fashion. And so you'll see the, the payment it takes about 150 something months to get to effectively the same payment as the annuity mortgage. But then after that, your payment actually decreases, eventually equaling almost the principal due, right? 2778 is the principal due in each period. The payment slightly above that because you have $7 in interest on a balance of 2,778. Now the total amount of interest, if you recall on the annuity mortgage with the exact same interest rate, uh, you would pay about 517,000 in interest over 30 years, 360 periods. In the case of the, uh, the linear mortgage, it's only 451. So while the payments are higher at the beginning, 
over the entire uh, loan term, or, or assuming your term fully amortizes over 30 years, you pay less in in interest total. So that's linear versus annuity. Now let's talk about this module in and of itself. It assumed this module assumes a annual fixed interest rate. However, column L, I've broken out the rate. And so you could actually over, uh, bring in, override that column and, and add your variable, your forecast for variable rate by period. Uh, you'll also enter here in cell F4 the loan funding date. And this date's important because the interest rate, as I mentioned, is, is fixed, but you have the option for three different interest calculation methods, a 3360, an actual 360, where it takes into account an actual number of days in a month, but a 360-day year, and then an actual 365 with a 365-day year. Uh, additionally, you'll enter lender fees, and in, in addition to your loan amount, so in this case, $10,000 would be 1% of the loan amount in lender fees, and that plays into the lender yield calculation. So your rate's 3%, but because of the fees, the lender yields slightly higher than that. In the United States, we call that an APR. If this goes to zero, the interest rate on a fixed basis will be equal to the lender yield. Now, an input that's unique to the linear mortgage is what we call the amortization per annum. This is the percentage of the total initial loan amount that amortizes or is paid off in each year. So say a 30 year mortgage would have 3.3333% that amortizes each, each year such that over 30 years you get the full loan amortized down or paid off. Uh, if you had say 5% per year, that's a 20 year mortgage. 50% as I mentioned is a two year mortgage. So that's the percentage of the loan amount that amortizes that plays into this principal column. So you'll notice, say, let's go back to a 20 year mortgage. Your principal now is 4,167. You add in any interest due in that period and that gets you the total payment due in that period. Uh, finally, you have the loan term. Now, what's nice about this, uh, this tool is that it is dynamic to your loan term. So. Uh, this amortizes over 30 years, but you the, the lender may not lend you that, say, $1 million for a full 30 years. They may say, okay, I'll lend you the million for 10 years, 120 months. And the result is at the end of that 10-year period, you have a balance due, the balloon balance, uh, such that the balloon balance plus your final principal payment in that year will result in your total uh, principal paid 671, I guess, plus some interest. That's the, the lender cash flow. But anyway, you get the point. Um, so the loan term must be uh, equal to or less than the number of years to pay off. But say, again, we go to 360. Now that would mean a loan term in which the loan fully amortizes over 360 periods. And you'll see here down at the end, there is no no balance or balloon balance. And uh, with the 2778 in principle paid in that final period, you get uh, your loan fully amortized or fully paid off. So that is my linear mortgage payment schedule tool. And that's the difference uh, in a very simplified form between a linear mortgage and an annuity mortgage. Let me know if you have any questions about either this tool or this concept. Uh, otherwise, thanks for your time.